we got to be relentless in our pursuit to be the best. The best players, the best coaches I've been around are obsessed with their craft, and that's what we want to build here, and that's what we want to get done. Well, the wait is finally over. The Indianapolis Colts introducing Shane Steichen as the Horseshoe's new head coach today. Steichen helped lead the Philadelphia Eagles to the Super Bowl this year as offensive coordinator. Sports director Anthony Calhoun joining us live from the Colts Complex. AC, this has been an exciting day for the whole Colts organization, right? Yeah, Alexis, you're right about that. An exciting day for folks like yours, truly, the media, because it's been like 36 days they've been going through this process to finding a new head coach, interview 13 different candidates for the job. But at the end of the day, as you mentioned, Shane Steichen is the new head coach of your Indianapolis Colts, and he's 37 years old. He's the third youngest coach in the NFL. Earlier today, here at the Colts Complex, the press conference where they introduced their new coach to the media and to the fans and this is the first time he's been a head coach in the NFL for Steichen you know he's spent many time though in the NFL when it comes to being an assistant coach spent some time with the Chargers and just recently the offensive coordinator for the Philadelphia Eagles of course who made it to the Super Bowl last week against the Kansas City Chiefs he has four pillars to being a, a successful coach and having guys believe in his system character preparation consistent and relentless. Uh, he showed a lot of great, um, uh, when you talk about just gratitude for folks who helped him get to this moment today. Very appreciative of the opportunity from Colts owner Jim Ursay and also the guy he worked for for the past couple of years in Nick Sirianni, the former Colts offensive coordinator with the Colts and now, of course, the head coach with the Eagles. Thank you to Nick Sirianni. I appreciate everything you've done as a head football coach. It was a pleasure to work with you again these past two seasons. It was a hell of a ride and one I'll cherish forever. But more importantly, the friendship that we built over the last nine years. Thank you to my beautiful wife, Nina, and our two kids, Hudson and Stella. Thank you for sacrificing everything you do day in and day out so I can live out my dream. I love you guys. Shane was just tremendous in the interview, um, showed incredible leadership. Uh, toughness, um, very fast mind, uh, I'm able to process information. I know Philip said at one point uh, you threw away the play card and was calling plays from your head, um, which uh, uh, is, is savant-like. <laughs> yeah, he's talking about Philip Rivers, who spent some time with uh, Sykin during his time with the San Diego Chargers at the time. Of course, Philip Rivers uh, was, a, was a quarterback here with the Colts for that one season here in Indy. We are told tonight there's been reports that it's a six-year deal for the new Colts head coach. Coming up later in sports at 620, we got much more on Steichen making his way here to Indianapolis. He's got a connection, a relationship with former Colts star Pate Manning. I talked to him about that in our one-on-one -on -one interview. That's coming up a little bit later in sports around 620. That's it from here. We'll send it back to you in the studio. AC, thank you. Colts owner Jim Mercey Thank Jeff Saturday for leading the team at the end of the season. Saturday tweeted a video earlier today wishing the team well. What's up, everybody? Hey, first, I just want to say uh, to the Colts organization and Colts Nation how much I appreciate the opportunity. I'm so grateful uh, for the last eight weeks of the season and the opportunity to represent you guys. I appreciate the coaches for all your time, energy, and effort to all the players uh, laying it out there each and every week. I can't tell you how much I respect and appreciate what each and every player, not only for the Colts, but the NFL do uh, and, and what they, they put on the line each and every week. But it was an absolute blessing. Uh, I, I look fondly upon it. Wish we would have done better, but uh, ultimately that, that is where it is. And so uh, I want to wish Coach Dyken the best of luck. I'm still a huge Colt fan and pulling for you guys. Looking forward to uh, hoisting some Lombardi trophies and excited for your opportunity. So uh, for everybody out there, including the however many thousand that signed a petition, which may have included my wife and son, not exactly sure, but in, in all honesty, I'm so grateful for uh, Colts Nation and who you are uh, to represent present the horseshoe it meant the world to me and uh again coach dyken best of luck to you and your family in indianapolis is an incredible town best fans in the world man you're gonna get the greatest support and uh, look forward to watching your success and the rest
rest of the men in that locker room and the coaching staff that you have with you. So to all Coach Na- Colts Nation, appreciate you guys, love you guys, and uh, see you soon. Well, I think that was pretty classy of him. Very much yeah. so. Getting a new head coach is exciting for a lot of Colts fans. They tell News 8's Camilla Fernandez, well, they're grateful for the new beginning. There's still a lot of work to be done. Some of the fans I spoke to tell me while they are grateful for the work Jeff Saturday put into the team, they want to see more wins, and they are hopeful that the new head coach, Shane Steichen, will help make it happen. Shane Steichen was a guy that was on the radar fairly early. There's a new head coach in town. They went with an offensive coach. They went with a young coach.